If you're looking for a beautiful way to finish a small piece of embroidery, mounting it on card and then finishing it with a piping edge is a nice way to do it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So this little Christmas ornament that I have is hand embroidered and I finished it by mounting it on card and putting a little piping edge. And that piping edge just gives it a little frame and an, is a really nice finish for it. So today I'm gonna show you how to do that. So to finish a piece this way, what you're gonna need is your embroidery mounted on a piece of cardboard. Now to see how to mount it on the cardboard, you can check out this other tutorial for a felt back ornament, but you would just mount it on card and then stop at that point. Don't put the felt on the back, mount it on card, and then you would use that for this project. Then you would take your backing piece of fabric and mount that on card in the same way. Or you could have two pieces of embroidery and so your piece is reversible with embroidery on both sides whatever you would like to do. I'm just using this blank piece to represent embroidery and this is gonna be the backing. So besides the front and back of the piece, you're gonna need a piece of piping. This is just purchased package of piping, but you're welcome to make your own and it has to be large enough to go around the piece. Then you're just gonna need regular sewing thread, a needle and some tacky glue. So let's get started. So we're gonna begin on the back of uh, the embroidery piece and take the edge of the piping pull the end of the cording out and trim it off so I've done this already on this so the cording actually starts here so there's a little bit at the edge that doesn't have cord in it and that's going to help us when we overlap that it will reduce some of the bulk and then we're just going to glue this onto the edge and we don't need a whole lot of glue because the glue is just to hold it in place while we're stitching. So this is kind of like pins or basting, but we're using glue. So we can see that's lined up nicely with the edge and we will curved around there. Um, if you need help to keep it in place, you can use uh, um, clips paper clips, wonder clips, clothes pins. I'm just gonna put a couple in there to help keep it in place as I get it on. And be sure to keep checking the front to make sure that it's making a nice frame. And then when you start to get close to the edge, then you can trim the piping. Just so you have a bit of overlap there. I'm gonna trim it a tiny bit more. So uh, trim the edge of this bit. So we, now at the front, we can just kind of adjust it to make sure it's even all the way around. Just this part where they overlap. And I think that looks really good. So now we're gonna get the back piece and then we will put the clips over both 
pieces. So it's all clipped together. Just going to readjust this. So now we're going to take our thread and cut a length of thread and thread a sharp needle. And I've chosen my thread color to match the fabric on my embroidery piece because that's where I want it to blend the most. But you could also pick your thread color to match the piping. It's your choice on that. Then I'll knot the thread. And I'll start from the back. I will just come through, make sure that the knot is tucked in on the inside. And then I'm just going to go around taking a stitch through the piping and then through the fabric on the back. And then I'll come back. So I'll be going through the piping and then through the fabric on the front. So I'll continue in that way, taking stitches. So I'm going through the piping and I'm catching the front piece and the back piece. So I'm going to do that all the way around. If I want to have a hanging loop, then I would just tuck this inside. I probably should have done this before I tucked them together, but I would tuck that inside. Um, you could tape that inside before um, joining to make it more secure. But I would just have that tucked in and stitch around that as I go around. So once you've stitched all the way around the edge or if you've come to the end of your thread, you're gonna end on the reverse side and then just take a couple tiny stitches to secure the edge of the thread. And then slide your needle underneath the backing fabric as so it comes out. And then we'll trim the edge, the end of the thread, so that the tail of the thread is inside underneath that fabric. So if you look really closely, you can see the tiny stitches but that's the a nice finish for that there's the finished piece with piping stitched all the way around the edge you can use this technique on different shapes but it is easier if it's a shape with curves as opposed to a square or a rectangle so have fun playing with this method and using it for finishing your embroidery pieces if you want to see more methods for finishing your small embroidery pieces, click the link below for a whole list of other options. And for more embroidery tutorials and ideas, be sure to check out EBITDA Studio.